Good morning, everyone. I am Rashid Alisa from University of Zion Darmarat, Fes, Morocco. Today, I am going to talk about our new study, the, the disturbance of server bus adaptive feed remote control for autonomous wheels. Let's talk about uh, the presentation, presenting the outline. So we will begin with the introduction in which we describe the fundamental problem of our system and we will also give all the solutions in this world. And then we will describe the modeling of the VQ autonomous. In the model of our system, we have a model lateral of autonomous V. Just after we explain the disturbance observer, next we present an adaptive feed mode control based observer. Later, we discuss the results simulation in this work. And finally, we will end with a conclusion. Introduction. An autonomous vehicle is a vehicle capable of driving automatically without a driver on the road by a control system and sensors, camera, radar, GPS, etc., and actuators. One of the main causes of traffic accidents is loss of control of the vehicle. And us, humans, are one of the main causes of road accidents. They are starting to develop autonomous vehicles. To guarantee the stability of the vehicle, it is necessary to show a control strategy that improves safety and the use of a suitable dynamic vehicle model. First, problematic. Vehicle behavior in critical situations can be dangerous in cases of loss of control due to driver inattention and discussions of many factors such as accomplishment of two tasks in parallel, driving and telephone, for example, driver's reaction delay, and poor perception of the environment and party. Or in cases of loss of dynamic control, the loss of control of the VEP is greatly increased when cornering or when overtaxing slower uh, or stopped vehicle. Second proposed solution. Develop an automated control system to make the automobile safe driving. For that, we need to first determine the appropriate automobile model for this situation. In cornering, for example, we need to study the lateral dynamics of the VEP for that. We chose the dynamic discrete model. Second, shows a control robust with variable uh, parameters and disturbances to ensure the stability of the vehicle. We chose control by high or pleasant mode control. Third, develop the command chosen by the integration of artificial intelligence. We use it the particle swarm optimization phase or algorithm. Fourth, using a disturbance observer to collect the disturbances affecting the autonomous vehicle. We chose the disturbances observer suggest by a 2 e all VK model. We use the basic model as a lateral VK model, applying Newton's second law for motion along the y-axis. Lateral dynamics in top of gravity can be written follow these equations. And lateral accelerations are y equal to the summations of y to dot and longitudinal velocity of VK VX multiplied by your rate of VK. And also we have lateral shear forces Fy equal to corner of the state multiplied by slip angle alpha. And after some calculation we got those lateral forces uh, equations. We remplace the lateral forces and lateral accelerations in equation one. We obtain the lateral dynamics or equations of the lateral accelerations and the accelerations as a function of lateral velocity and the rat and the common terrain angle. We are the disturbances. T1 and T2 to, to the basic rate model of the VEQ. The representation of the lateral model of the VEQ with disturbances becomes in the form of these equations with T1 equal to 0 0.1 of F1 and T2 equal to 0 0.1 of F2. The reference path model. The representation of the uh, double line change maneuver is extracted in this video. The lateral displacement according the double line change maneuver is represented by a 5 degrees polynomial function by this equation. Disturbance observer. We use the disturbance observer proposed by us to e all. The idea is to collect the disturbances affecting the VEP to compensate them by the superficie remote control. The disturbances observer suggested by us to e all is represented by this equation. 
where d1 hat and data hat are estimation value of d1 and y dot respectively and k1 and k2 superior to zero. Adaptive little mode control target observer. In this study, we proposed the disturbance observer to quality the disturbances affecting the VEK to compensate them by the CPS with the remote control. And to guarantee the stability, we use the adaptive algorithm of the parameter observer model by applying the Leopold approach. So we use the PSO algorithm to optimize the signal surface parameter lambda and also the parameters alpha and beta used by this controller. First, a design of disturbance observer. To guarantee the stability of this system, we chose the upon of function v1 by this equation, where d1 tilde equals d1 minus d1 hot and theta tilde equals y dot minus theta hot. From the uh, Lyapunov function v1, we can obtain its time derivative by this equation. We chose k1 relatively large, therefore the first term of v1 uh, dot is almost equal to zero. Also, we chose k2 relatively large, we can get v1 uh, dot inferior or equal to zero. Second, design of little mode control. The tracking error in this uh, study is given by first equation and this little surface is given by second equation. So the Lyapunov function considered is given by third equation. The time derivative of V2 can be obtained by this equation. The stability of this system is assured if alpha and beta must satisfy these conditions. Where T0, the initial time is greatly than zero. Finally, the design of the signal mode control by the observer. The uh, closed system Lyapunov function can be represented by this equation, where v equals v1 plus v2. We can demonstrate it clearly from equation uh, 7 and 8 that the system is stable, where the stability condition of autonomous VEK by the adaptive little mode control by the observer are uh, k1 uh, and k2 relatively large, uh, and alpha and beta most satisfy those conditions, where T0, the initial time, is greatly than zero. The efficiency of uh, the composite controller is tested and compared to CPS with CD remote control alone. Results and discussion. So, the simulation results obtained in this work by using the uh, lateral dynamic system of autonomous VET are presented in this figure. These controllers were implemented using MATLAB code. So for study the system, the logistic uh, velocity and the control parameters optimized by the application of the PSO algorithm are considered as those values. So to show the performance and efficiency of the autonomous VEK lateral dynamic system with the proposed control, the disturbances real and observed, the lateral error, the trajectory followed by the automobile and the steering angle of this system are given in these figures. The proposed control is able to force the autonomous vehicle to follow the reverse trajectory and tacky the sign as part of the, of the reverse trajectory. The robustness of super switch signal mode control with PSO is really excellent compared to super switch signal mode control alone and better than super switch signal mode control with PSO based on actual disturbance observers. We notice that the curve of the observed disturbances is almost the same as the curve of the real disturbances. So the controller proposed in this work shows a strong improvement of which the error values of the proposed controller is really low. Conclusion. So in conclusion during the presentation, we have studied a strategy for controlling the lateral dynamics of an autonomous VAT using three approaches that are the super twisted remote control alone, super twisted remote control with PSO, and super twisted remote control with PSO based on ATU disturbances observer. We observed the disturbances by ATU disturbances observer, and also we have optimized the control parameters by PSO algorithm to improve the system performance. The adaptive observer-based remote control 
has been proposed for component lateral dynamics of an autonomous vehicle. The method strategy of disturbance observer by superficial remote control is used to overcome the disturbances, parameter uncertainties, and imprecision. The proposed control is robust, then the proposed automobile control is able to follow the reference trajectory. Perspective. In future work and in order to improve the robustness of the system, a study of control in physiologic type 2 and neuron physics are carried out. A comparison of the two controllers will be studied. And thank you for your attention.